plastic shad imitator in there. Straighten the hook out and pull it tight. Then insert the pin through the side of the head and straighten the fins out a little bit so they'll rotate. Nice bass. Bass no. fishermen go crazy over that. Yeah, right pull there. that sleeve Ray and self-release him. It's caught on the um, this is a minnow bullet rotator. Just grab that sleeve and pull it. See how you release? Nice, huh? Yeah. Look at him. He's following us. He says, I want some more of that. I want some more of that. Look at him down there swimming. Yeah. Pretty good little hook, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Just a tackle sling blade with a Captain America humdinger. Okay. Good. Got me in the lead core though. The fish are coming at 25 feet. Let me get up close. Rainbow. Oh, another. Another rainbow. Another average size Shasta Lake rainbow. Uh, you got that SBR. Yeah. Huh? Slow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, Friday. This is test. Uh, there's one of the five bridges down there. Got a fish on here. Look like a trout or salmon. First day of the uh, derby. We have a fish on. Decent fish too. Well, right. Might want to grab a net. Okay. Well, that's uh, Chester Dam down there. We've been uh, fishing around this point all morning, and this is Slaughterhouse over this way. Got them on the leg for running three colors, so I figure that's down around 12 to yeah. 15. And then the dropper, I'm running this downrigger at 25, and I put a dropper on it and really? picked them up on the dropper. Okay, well, typically, right? I can see them being up that shallow. Yeah. The big set, he'll swing right into my back corner with my on the next to the motor, and he'll jump in. Okay. You got a nice, you got that, that king on the uh, air, the Shasta tackle, paddle tail shad. Squeeze the head of the bullet rotator. Put the shad body inside. Push the pin all the way through. And then spread the wings out so they'll turn. The wider you spread them, the wider they'll turn. Gives a nice tight wiggle. Good deep body fish. That was cold one of them. Hold him we up. Gonna keep. Wow, nice. And his big trout is 
Three. Nice trout. 1.18. Put them all in for a grand total of... Well, you're getting up near six where you need to be. You have a run at it tomorrow. Five point. Man. Yeah, I got a little breeze on it. Five point eight zero. Oh. Lost a three and a half of the boat this morning. Fish, I pulled alongside him and he hooked up. Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, I must, they must all run away from my boat and go over and hit yours. As soon as you left, <laughs> we hooked up again. Oh, did you? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'll right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Get that hey. big fish tomorrow, you're in it. Matrix. Cozy Minnows. Let's see, what's the best brown get rolled? That was your final day. And uh, we're all excited about getting going. Well, okay, so I was, he, as soon as they got back to the cabin, they, he went in and crashed. He did a disappearing act. I go, where's Chris? <laughs> he was already up in bed. Oh, it is a cow. It is a king. Too much of a Pretty big child. Hey Ray, how we doing? Oh, yeah. What do you got there? It looks like a pit rainbow. Put your biggest one in there. Looks like you didn't do quite as well today. One point. Rub it in. One. One two. Go ahead and put them all in. Fish in same place. Uh yeah. A little tougher bite for you today. Here we go. Three point. One. Three pounds. All right. Well, three. You had some big ones, couldn't get them in, huh? Yeah, I heard a couple people had that problem today. Packers Bay Doug had one in the half in the net and lost it.